What's up, friends? Welcome back to another episode of All Investments, and today we will be covering Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Once again, we would like to tell you that this is not financial advice, and please do your own research. Thank you. So, Nick, I'm looking at this video game here, and uh, you said it's a Call of Duty game. Do you know what, uh, what console it's for? Looks yeah. like a PlayStation thing. So, this is PS3, made by Infinity Ward and Activision. Um, but the thing is, two things. One, that it's a first edition from November 5th, 2007, when it originally released. Um, not only is it first edition, but it is still sealed. Seems authentic, right? Like an authentic game? I think, yeah, so... It's hard to tamper in this kind of like, we, packaging. We are definitely experts. We'll get into that a little later. Um, but just because we've been playing it for 20 plus years, uh, this game and amongst other games, but... I think it looks factory sealed. It doesn't look like they tried to, um, you know, shrink it open or, 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 or try to reseal it, you know, yeah, shrink yeah. wrap it or anything like you're that. You're being able to tell, I feel like, especially because of like right here at the top part. So, Nick, you said that this game came out in 2007. Mm -hmm. Around that time, we were probably in grade school. We were little kids. So, uh, what made you buy this game? Like, why did you buy it? Oh, probably you. It's your fault. <laughs> I likely. think it's John's fault and amongst all of our other friends in our grade school because, um, it was our like job. We were 8, 10, 12. We played from literally 8 years old till now. I still run the game sometimes. Um, we would go after school every day, 3 o'clock, as soon as we got home, till whenever we had to go to bed. Like, we wouldn't stop playing it. It's very addicting. You know? First, because I know Call of Duty is probably one of my first shooting games. Type. Action, yeah, like action, first person. action, first person type game. Yeah. And it's Same. definitely something different when you're a young kid playing it compared to now. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah, we still rage though. Oh, still rage, still yell at people. Probably say some things I shouldn't say sometimes, but you know, that happens. <laughs> Frustration hits in. So the Call of Duty franchise is now, all of these years later, worth $9 billion. That's impressive. Right? Yes. And um, they have 17 editions of Call of Duty now. It's pretty impressive how from 2007 till now, they've been coming out with games steady. And still have a consistent loyal fan base with the games. I yeah, I think personally, I didn't buy them all. There were some that were obviously not great. With anything that has seventeen of them, they're not going to all be perfect. Yeah, but you can't hit on all of them. All right, Nick. So this game came out in two thousand seven. Did you get it in two thousand seven? And how did you get your hands on this? Uh, I did get it in two thousand seven. Not this one, but I I back then I probably camped out for it. Whatever. This game, though, I got on eBay. I remember Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 still sealed going for uh, six figures. And I was like, wow, what if I get the game that I think is better than that? You know what I mean? Personally, I think this is better. Um, I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> but I got it for 70 bucks, eBay, from Greece. So secondary market. Yes. And... Let's remember that video games itself are around seventy dollars retail in general. Nowadays, like yeah, I mean, all right, so back then it may have been sixty dollars or fifty, maybe. Or, yeah, yeah, so yeah. like around that range. So even if you paid an extra ten bucks nowadays, it's like oh, I'd still pay regular price for the game. Because right, it's seventy dollars now. Right, not you, not something you would think. Like hey, I spent five hundred bucks on this collectible. No, because I searched eBay though for page through page looking for this game. But you were digging. Yeah, because I found a lot of, you know, uh, collector's edition ones or like 10-year anniversary, something like that. And um, no, I wanted, for, I wanted the first one. looked like someone had it in their, you know, in the back of their gaming collection. And they were like, hey, I just want to get rid of all this old stuff, you know? Yeah. So this does look like it's in really good condition. I'm not saying that because I'm here with Nick in front of him. It does look like it's in very good condition. You'll be able to see that yourself. So with how good it looks, do you plan on getting it graded at all? Um, I know you can get video games graded from what I do from seeing, from seeing stuff. Yeah, so the probably two reasons though, because one, it does look good. I like to keep it safe, but that plastic, I, in my opinion, does enough. You know, it'll hold it for years. The reason I want to get it graded is to make sure it's actually real and first edition. You know, because that's what will jack the value up. Yeah, uh, I got it's not, it on eBay, so it's If it's hard. not real, one, bad. Yeah. 
So, but if it's real and first edition, perfect. You hit a jackpot. Yeah, 70 bucks. So I'm going to probably get it graded with um, CGA because WADA, if you're not familiar, WADA is one of the most famous and popular uh, video game grading. But when I emailed their support, they hit me with something weird. No PS3 games. Really? (laughs) They said they did 360 games, everything, but no PS3 games. So maybe they implemented it now. That was like two months ago. I doubt it. Um, So it's just not, so do they do like PS2 or PS4 games? uh, I think so. I think it was just PS3. If I remember correctly, go, you know, do your own research. But yes, they told me no to that game. If you see this, can we have an explanation on why you do not do PS3 games? I'm okay with you guys doing it. We we just want an explanation. Or a grade. Or or, or just like a a nice case, you know, a nice slab for a game. Um, But I will be sending it to CGA if you guys don't reach out. That being said, CGA does everything. You know, they do all collectibles. It's like the PS... I would say it's like the PSA for video games, in a sense. The no, they do, they do cards. They're, they're second... Um, they're, they're cards. They're end cards. They just branched off, and they call themselves VGA. It's a little sub-company of them. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Yeah, so CGA yeah. is PSA's second um, competitor. Like, it's... see, it's, I, You know, there might be more. I'm not the card. They're guy. in the same family. Right. Um, but for video games, I think WADA. That's what I heard. That's what I read, and um, a lot of people go with them because they get the uh, the cartridges, the Nintendo or the Atari cartridges, yeah. the old ones. Um, they get those graded like Mario, things like that. So Nick, we're big collectors, and since we have a video game in front of us right now, do you consider collecting more video games? Mm. I don't know if I ever intended it. No. I think personally. I just saw someone else collecting it, saw the value, like always, like every investor, um, and then just said, hey, this one's better. This one's way better. This started years of play. Right now, the new Call of Duty is still called Modern Warfare. Um, yeah, shout out Warzone. So, Nick, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, they have a big following, and, you know, this might be your first collecting. But, like, in a, in a sense, like a game like Halo, would you think about collecting a game like that because of how big that was and the following they still have yeah i'd say the point of me collecting this was um not particularly because of call of duty it happens to be call of duty it was based on how popular it was um millions play it for years and of what it did in the future after it was released um i think the same applies to halo i think that was a game that started years of um of amazing gaming i remember it was if you didn't play Halo at a certain point, it was like, why aren't you playing? Same like this. It was like our job. I don't know if Halo and Call of Duty were the same time, different, you know, different shifts. But um, I was just as passionate about Halo. I remember I needed the, the energy sword. What is it called? I don't know the name of it. If you do know the name, if you comment it and it is correct, maybe we could send something out to you. So we've talked about possibly getting a grade. Yes. Now, do you actually plan on shipping it out to get graded is my first question. Yeah, so I said I decided CGA if I were to grade it. Will I get it graded soon? Probably in the next few weeks to a month or so. That being said, we will update you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely when we get it graded, how that process went using a different company. You know, I never used CGA yet. That should be pretty interesting. What do you think the grade, what do you think this deserves as a grade? 10. <laughs> I don't blame it. Listen, everything's 10 to me. No, no, okay. Realistically, yeah, oh, come on, man. It is sealed and uh, like not cracked anything. It's not damaged uh, physically shape-wise, like the case, not just the, the actual seal. Um, Blu-ray, I think this is the first time. Still got the stickers on the back, yeah, too. It has the stickers from the store. It's um, legit. If you like look closely you can see call of duty ps3 modern warfare or modern warfare call of duty 4 um their skews so it is the real deal right on the outside of the plastic too so if they were to fake this my assumption is they resealed it then put fake store stickers 
if it is fake, shout out to her, whoever did this because for seventy dollars, it's, it's an unreal fake for seventy dollars. But I like that's say. I put the I put that's to get like two and two together, you know, because in my opinion, it looks like a first edition. Maybe there's something on the appearance that says, Hey, this isn't first edition, but this is the only thing that looks weird is the 16. But I looked it up and that was just, um, a warning for the content in the game for children, you know, for under eight, for kids like that aren't, can't see the mature content, um, all the gore and whatnot. You got to think the, uh, graphics back then were not as good as they are now. So that's why the 16 may look a little weird too. Might have been a printing error or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, check it out. Check it out. I think it looks good. If it is like, a printing condition error. Condition-wise, what do you think? Condition-wise, it looks good. There's no damages on the side. You still see the PS3 right here. Yeah. Uh, so, well, let me face it towards you. So, yeah. The, the bottom, seal. you can see the PSC, PS3 right there. That's where you open it. That's where you yeah, like. You would crack this. Like a, mm -hmm. like a pack of gum, you crack the seal. That's where you would crack it at right down mm -hmm. here. So that's like, that's a great factor. And if you look right here, usually this is where like somebody would cut to open up the wrapping for a video game. That doesn't look affected at all either. Still closed. And like we said, on the back, you could still see the bar. How about authentic? That. From your expert gaming experience, 20 plus years, is that real? In my eyes, yes, I would say this is real. This would be very hard to fake. But we also don't know if there's a disc in here. <laughs> I've never thought about that, but if it's a fake, does it have a disc? What if it's like a, it says Call of Duty, we put it in LimeWire, 30 song playlist, 2002, hits. It's probably a good playlist, I'll tell you that. Wait, what if inside was a disc and all it had on it was never going to give you up? <laughs> By Rick Astley. <laughs> We'd love that. Huh? <laughs> if you have any video games that you've collected or are getting graded, or still have sealed that think, you know, they may have value, let us know, drop a comment, because we'd love to interact with you and uh, just share what we know and learn what you know. Upload a picture too, so we could actually like see. Yeah. It. Not that we don't believe you, it's just better to see stuff than read words. Let's do it, let's connect. We're excited, looking forward to it. Thank you for watching. If you like all investments, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like or follow button. You can find us on Instagram at Financial Professional, on TikTok at all.investments, and on Twitter at all investments underscore.